Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about exhaust upgrades for Volkswagen cars. Our featured brand today is Buzzken. These pipes are made in Canada from North American milled grade 409 stainless steel. Um, these are really awesome. Our customers have been really happy and we've had nothing but good feedback on them. These are great looking pipes, but uh, what are we going to do with one today? Well, this is actually a two and a half inch uh, down pipe. It's made for an ALH or BEW engine. For this case, it's going on my car, which is a 2004 with a BEW. But uh, they also make a full range of products for the 1.8T, the 2.0, the 2.0 slow, and uh, they're awesome. Something else about the catalytic converters, we're going to run one today with a catalytic converter. But don't they also make this uh, downpipe for the common rail motors if you want to use it on off-road scenarios? They do. They make some awesome downpipes for the common rails. These are for racing applications, off-road use only. If you had one installed, you wouldn't pass emissions testing. But one of the benefits is, is you gain up to six miles per gallon, it lowers your EGTs, increases your engine life, increases your turbo life. Um, they are pretty freaking awesome. But aren't they kind of loud? Don't they make it kind of sound No, no, no. They make them sound just a little bit louder than stock. It gives it a nice manly growl to it, but it's not loud. There's no drone. It sounds good. Cool. Why don't we go install this puppy? All right. All right. Changing out the downpipe is really easy. The first thing we did was we took out the drive shaft. It's in the way of accessing the three nuts that are on the turbo. These three nuts are usually 13 millimeter, but they could be 12. I double checked, it is 13 on my car. I'm gonna take those out real quick and then we'll get the ones in the back. All right, I got those three nuts out. Now we're gonna go to the back and take out the uh, nuts on the exhaust clamp. For this, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter uh, socket. I'll take those off real quick. I already broke them loose. 17 millimeter, not a 16 millimeter. Alright, I only have two more bolts to take out and then the downpipe should be free other than moving the exhaust clamp out of the way. These are 13 millimeter bolts again, so 13 millimeter socket. And that's free. Alright, the last step before pulling out the downpipe is you need to move the exhaust clamp towards the back of the car. You can use a hammer or a mallet, whatever you want. And it's free. Alright, next I'm going to take out the downpipe. It's real easy. Just pull it off the studs on the turbo and everything should slide right out. And this is the 04 model. So it has the O2 sensor on it, um, 2003 and older don't have that. Um, the nice thing about Buzz Cannon though is they will add the, bu the bung on to your downpipe for $20. Okay, so we have a two and a half inch downpipe and we have the cap back system which comes with an outside diameter of two and one eighth inches. We're going to need an adapter to connect this. This is the adapter and we're going to need two different uh, clamps. We have a U-bolt clamp and we have this other clamp. Uh, this clamp is used to connect the downpipe to the adapter. And then we're going to use the U-bolt clamp to connect over the top of the catback system. This is, has an inside diameter of 55 millimeters. It will slide right over the um, catback system. You might have to use a hammer to pop it on, but that is the way it's done. Um, so first we're going to put the U-bolt clamp on top of it. I'm going to install it on the catback system. We're going to line this all up, make sure it's perfect. And then the first thing we're going to do is tighten down the U-bolt. This is 14 millimeter on the U-bolt. Again, I'm going to double check. You can even hold it in place the whole time tightening it. It's a great way to make sure you get it right. Alright, you want to tighten this down to good and tight. Torque specs. 
artificial torque spec. All right, after you get that done, then we're going to switch over. We're going to put this up. After you get that done and you finish dropping everything, we're going to put this uh, other clamp on. Happens to be a 14, 15 millimeter for this one. Same thing, torque specs are good and tight. Alright, all I have left is to type, put the three bolts on the uh, turbo and then we can put the axle back on and we're all set. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was sponsored by Buzzcan Exhausts. We really appreciate you watching, and if you want exhaust, come check out our website, fixmyvw.com.